Okay, let's move to 5B, discuss and review district levies. Now, last meeting, we asked John to get some information together for us on the various levies that we have, and uh, what their importance are to the district, and what we, so we could make an informed decision about what we should do with those levies. So, let me, let me jump in real quick. And I don't think tonight is, we're not asking for a decision on these things. This is the beginning stages of that discussion to get us all up to speed on about the levies and Johnstone. No pressure, but it's kind of like that. Um, we started with a phone call to the Department of Management to make sure all the ducks are in a row there for putting everything together for the next 30 years. So they have a copy of our ballot. Um, they've got a file on us. They know what's going on. You know, in 11 months, uh, we're reorganized. Um, Media District has any debt, so that is as easy as it can get. We're both in the same AEA, so there'll be no change there. Um, they will use district number 6741 for us um, as the larger district. So really, everything from their standpoint is ready to go. Um, our cost per pupil is maybe 30 or 40 dollars different between the two districts. They'll do a weighted average and give us a new number when they send the budget stuff out. So we'll be somewhere in between where we were, so whatever, the, whatever the allowable growth is, and we'll go from there. So um, everything's set. We don't need to contact them again until the budget stuff comes out in February. So, uh, in your packet, there should be a page that looks like this and shows you the tax rate for each of the different funds and the dollars that it generates for both SAC and Wall Lake View Auburn for the current fiscal year. Um, our general fund tax rates are relatively the same, right around $11. Our management levies are right around $0.75 or $0.70. Cents. Um, Although SAC has a voted capital, they've elected not to use it right now, so that is zero in both districts. And both districts did enact a 33 cent capital for this year. Generates 36,000 in SAC and 61,000 in So if you look at those four items together, um, you're looking at about $3.4 million that we generate through property taxes. And if we were together this year, I would guess our tax rate would be right around 11.95, or I mean, somewhere right in the middle. So maybe that's a little bit comforting for some of our patrons that were worried there was going to be a big shift in property taxes. There just won't be. And since there's no debt load to shift when this thing happens, I wouldn't, if they ask you, I wouldn't expect that they're going to see a big change. The money should come out the same too. Though. So, yeah, 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 because those are our valuations together. So when you add the instructional support levy, um, it generates another $240,000 for Wall Lake View Auburn, but it also adds 87 cents in property tax and a surtax on your state income tax to generate those dollars. So and what can the uh, instructional support levy be used for? It can be used for anything that the general fund money is used for. It cannot be used for um, special ed deficit. cannot be used for capital type projects. Um, but in general, with very few exceptions, if you can pay for it out of the general fund, you can pay for it out of instructional support. You can pay um, salaries. You can pay textbooks, instructional supplies. Is there still a, a statement of purpose or yes. I forget the term that goes yeah. along when you have it? We have the election um, on the ballot as a statement of purpose. And if I recall correctly, mm -hmm. that's, that's what I would think. So.